Okay, Bill, back over to you. All righty, guys, how'd it go? We got, uh, we just had 20 minutes to check in, see what was going on, see if we could set up some three ways, see if we could do some three ways, as well as prospect, plenty to do. And the 20 minutes usually flies by. So I know some people have things to share because you were just delving into activity. Who can share with us? Did you guys do nothing for 20 minutes? Come on. Bo, there must be something really going on on Tuesday morning because there was nobody home. I left several messages. Um, so we'll see. There, The seeds are planted. We'll go from there. That's awesome. Hey, leaving messages, that's the first stage. If people aren't there, what else can you do, right? Yeah. There's a lot of people working that can't afford to re retire. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that have jobs that they hate. So there's a lot of people that are doing something right now that they'd rather be doing something else. So that's the good news, Peg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the good news. That's that what I was going to say. Anyone else? That's what I was going to say, too, is I did leave some messages. So, you know. Um, it's a start. Don't forget to follow up on the message, though, because when people get home, they just want to expire right <laughs> jump on the couch and expire and have dinner or something so hey left you a message just wanted to check in sometime that's obviously not uh you know business hours you know well, not midnight the millennials call that rotting they just rot <laughs> sitting on the that. couch don't you think that's good they, they just sit down and they're rotting yeah <laughs> keith and eric worry calls that rusting from the inside out <laughs> or oxidative stress right <laughs> so keith what were you gonna say oh i was just saying i also made phone calls left messages and i sent a message followed up with uh email and voice text through a sia 2.0 awesome so guys that bodes the question here is what do you do all day if everybody's just if you're all just leaving messages or are you actually finding some people throughout the day and that's a question I found two people today and I set up three-way calls with them. So. That's great. Who'd you set them up with? Do you know who's going to be the other side? Did you say it was Tammy and Chuck? Yeah. Chuck, Chuck Gates. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. He always says I'm available 24 seven. Well, I'm holding him to that. <laughs> there you go. Who else? I, I did find someone earlier, right before the call. I found someone earlier that I reached out to about maybe uh 10 days ago and we talked today and then we set up a time for speaking later on. Awesome. Were you able to share a tool with him? Yes, I did. And I shared, uh, I sent it through a CA 2.0, both an email and a text. That's awesome. So quick question in that when you shared that or when you were speaking with him so that you could share that, did you tell him or ask him for a time that you, or you said you set up a time. That's awesome. Did you tell him you would have someone else on the phone? No, I did not. Okay, so my personal feeling is, is that it's a little bit of an ambush if you're just calling people with somebody else on the phone. But if it happens, you know, you can just say, hey, we were talking and we brought your name came up and I wanted to share, you know, I figured since you had just watched the video, so-and-so be the best person to answer your questions. But I think it's a lot better when you just say, hey, when's a good time? If they give you it, when you say, hey, when's a good time? I want to introduce you to the people that shared it with me so that he can answer all your questions. If they give you a time, they just agreed for you to have someone on the phone, didn't they? Yes, yes. I mean, it's a little presumptive, but it, you told them what you were asking for the phone call for, right? So when you call back with something, with somebody, two things happen. Number one, you can say, hey, Keith, remember I was going to, you know, I wanted to introduce you to the person that shared it with me. I've got Bo on the phone. And, and he just, you know, we wanted to find out your questions or whatever. The other thing is just to make sure that not, you know, you may say, hey, how are you? Da, da, da. But not too much of a conversation goes on before you introduce that you have someone else on the phone, because otherwise it feels like someone's kind of creeping on you, right? When all of a sudden you find out somebody else was on the phone while you're giving personal information to your personal friend, right? I like it. I will, take that. I will do that for sure. All righty, do not build the deck of cards, Keith. Give people a foundation to work with so your business doesn't fall apart later. Anybody else? We've got another minute or so. 
How about Judy? I responded to a telemarketer's call and asked me if I was in front of my computer. And so then I, um, he called me back if I had watched it. And I said, yes, I did. And then he asked me if I had talked to someone else. And that man was a very nice man from Scottsdale, Arizona, gave me, told him I was involved with something and asked him if he'd be willing to watch a video and got his name. And he told me his age and where he lived. And, and so I sent the video, but now I just realized that I didn't um, do what you said about you know setting a follow-up, but I did it from Jeannie Go, so I'm just waiting to see. And if, if later this week, then if he doesn't, I'm not, then I'll contact him. But right. That was so, my yeah. So not setting up appointment and everything you did was perfect, except for you know setting up the next appointment because that's what you're doing every single time is you're moving people from one appointment to the next appointment or one event to the next event. And uh, you just want them to, hey, I mean, I tell people all the time, hey, I'm just putting you through an education process if you're willing to go through it. It's like a, a bus tour in Europe or something to that effect. We're going to go through the education. We'll answer questions. If you want to get back on the bus, great, and learn more. That's awesome. If you don't want to get, if you don't want to stay on the bus, then you can get off. It's, this is, you know, it's no obligation. And you just take it away from them. A lot of power in taking things away from people, you know, just... They, if they want to learn more, they'll get back on the bus. But good for you, Judy, for turning it around. That's yeah, great. No, I was going to say, that's true. Would you say that story? I was like, way to go, Judy. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't done right, that before. At the bottom of the hour, does anybody have one more thing before we go? All righty. No problem. Well, thank you very much. We're at, oh, Deb. I, I did want to tell you, Bo, you are a good trainer. Yes, we appreciate it comes from you, too. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You guys have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same station. Take care. Have a great day. Have a great, I see you day. Thank you, Bo. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Cheers.